ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing lesson 1.8. You will use, do not use compatible numbers. You will use rounding to estimate differences. We are not doing compatible numbers yet. We'll do that later in the year, but not now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's look at this. And what we're doing is take out those compatible numbers. We're taking these numbers, we round, and then we do the math. Okay, so let's look at this. 40, well, we don't have to round this anything, it's already 40. But we need to round 13. So the closest 10 is 10. So our math, after we round it, now we do the math. We subtract. So 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 1 is 3. So our answer is 30. Okay, so let's do the next one. Now, I told you that you can round to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100 when you're talking about three-digit numbers. You can just do to the nearest 100 to make it easier. Okay, so let's look at this. 762. If we're going to round to the nearest 100, is it going to be 700 or 800? Yes, you're exactly right, because this part is 50 and above. It's going to be rounded to... 800. Okay, so 332 is going to be rounded to what hundred? Well, it's either going to be 300 or it's going to be 400. And if we look at the two numbers behind it, it is below 50, so we're going to go down, we're going to go backwards, and it's going to be 300. So let's look. 800 minus 300. This is where we do the math. We are subtracting. So the answer is 500. Okay, so 762 minus 332 is about 500. So let's look here. 823. We're going to round it to the nearest 100, and that's going to be 800. Okay, 242 is going to be rounded to 200. We round it, now we do the math, and it's going to be 600, because we subtract it. We're finding differences, okay? All right, next one, 98 minus 49. Well, it's a two-digit number, so we're going to round to the nearest 10. So 98 is either going to be 90, or it's going to be 100. What is it closer to? Well, it's closer to 100, because the 8 behind it is 5 and above. So we're going to go up the hill. So it's 100. 49 is rounded to what? 10. It's either going to be 40 or 50. It's going to be rounded to 50. Okay, now when we subtract, it's going to be 50. We're doing the math now. So 287 minus 162, three-digit number. Well, just go around to the nearest hundred to make it easier. So there's my hundred. I boxed off the next two numbers. Is it going to be between 200 or 300? Well, let's look there. The 87 is 50 and above, so I go up to this number. So it's going to be 300. 162. I'm rounding to the nearest 100. I underline it. I'm going to box those two numbers. So 162. 62 is 50 and above, so I'm going to go up to the next number. So it's going to be 200. So it's going to be about 100. The difference is about 100. Don't forget that word. When it says about, you will estimate. Okay, 359. We are going to round it to, is it 300 or 400? Well, I underline my 3, and then I box the last two numbers. It's 50 and above, so we're going to go up to our 400. Okay, we're going to 224. I underline my 2. I'm going to box the last two numbers. Well, it's below 50, so we're going to go down. So it's going to be 200. So that is going to be about 200. Okay? Now, what have I always said about these 
problem. Okay, it's next problem. Don't solve them uh, horizontally. I want you to change it so it is vertical. Okay, minus 531. And when you do that, make sure you write it the same correctly. Say the numbers correctly. That happens a lot. Well, I'm still estimating. So I'm going to round 771 to 800. And I'm going to round 531 to, well, it's going to go down to 500. So now I'm going to do the math, which is 300. Okay? All right. So you can say 800 minus 500 is 300. Okay? I think it's just easier to see it. I just want you to get the habit of writing it uh, vertically. Please, please, please. Okay? 299 and 61. Okay, now, you're like, what? What are we going to do there? Well, okay, well, let's look at this. 299, three digit number, so we're going to round it to the nearest 100. So 299, well, that's easy. We're going to, it's going to close to 300 instead of 200. And you're like, Mr. Keith, 61. Well, I'm going to round that to the nearest 100, too. You're like, what? It's two digits. Well, we rounded the first one to the nearest hundred. Let's round the next one to the nearest hundred. Try to keep it the same in that uh, same problem. So 61, is it closer to zero or is it closer to 100? Well, it's 50 and above, so we go up. It's closer to 100. Now let's subtract that, and we've got 200. So it's 300 minus 100 equals 200. All right. Ben has a collection of 812 stamps. He gives his brother 345 stamps. About how many stamps does Ben have left? That about tells me I have to estimate. If you give me the actual answer, I will mark it wrong. It tells me that you need to estimate. So let's look here. Ben has a collection of 812 stamps. He gives, gives, that means we're going to subtract his brother 345 stamps. How many stamps does Ben have left? Oh, so many keywords there. Left, gives. Those all tell me that I am going to subtract. So let's do this. 812, always, always, when you subtract, put your bigger number on top. If I have uh, five cookies, you can't take nine away from me. Or if I have 345 cookies, you can't take 812 away from me. So put the bigger number on top. 812 minus 345. Okay, now it says all about. So we need to, you guessed it, we need to estimate. So 812 is close to 800. 345 is close to 300. Now we have to do the math. Now that we've rounded, we're going to do the math. So 800 minus 300 is about 500 stamps. Okay? All right, here we go. Savannah's Bakery sold 284 loaves of bread in September. In October, the bakery sold 89 loaves. About how many more loaves of bread did Savannah's Bakery sell in September than in October? Oh, so much to see there. First off, I saw the word about. I'm going to I'm going to circle that because that tells me I have to estimate. All right. In we have 284 loaves in September. In October. We have 89 loaves. So, there is a keyword, and I know you guys are awesome. You know this. It's how many more. What does that mean I'm going to have to do? That means I am going to have to subtract. You got it. Okay? She sold. You're going to subtract. How many more? So, let's look at this. We have 284. Minus 89. So 
but we're not just going to look at that. We're going to estimate the difference. So 284 is close to 300. And since we did hundreds in the first one, 89 is closer to 0 or 100. Yeah, closer to 100. So we round it. Now we're going to do the math. And it's about 200 loaves. Oh, stop it off. There we go. About 200 loaves more. Okay? All right, here we go. We're going to skip that one for now. Jorge, turn the page, has 708 baseball cards and 394 basketball cards. About how many more baseball cards to basketball cards does Jorge have? Ladies and gentlemen, right there. About. How much? And then we have how many more? So that tells me, just those four words tell me that I need to estimate and I need to subtract. So let's look at this. 708 minus 394. I'm not solving it, I'm estimating. So 708 is close to 700. 394 is close to 400. And then, so we round it. Now it's time to do the math. 300. So we are subtracting. So it's uh, how many more baseball cards? So about 300 more. Okay. Annika is making necklaces. She has 512 silver beads and 278 blue beads. About how many more silver than blue beads does Annika have? About how many more? Estimating, subtracting. Okay. We have 512 minus 278. 512 is rounded. To 500, the nearest 100. 278 is rounded to 300. Because it says about, we're estimating. So we round. Now we do the math. It's going to be subtract because it says how many more. So we have to about 200 more. Okay? All right, now we're doing some review, spiral review. A store manager ordered 402 baseball caps and 122 ski caps. Estimate the total number of caps the manager ordered. They didn't even say about. They just told you right out, estimate. But let's look at here. It's just the total number of caps. So he has 402 baseball caps and and 102 ski caps. So we have two sets of caps. How many total do you have? That's right, we're going to add. So we have 402 plus 122. But we're going to estimate. It says to estimate. So it's 400 plus 100. So he has, he ordered about 500 caps. Okay. Autumn collected 129 seashells at the beach. What is 129 rounded to the nearest ten? Okay, we have 129. Okay, to the nearest ten. So I'm going to underline my ten. I'm going to go backwards. Is it zero to four or five to nine? Oh, well, five to nine. So I'm going to go up. This number is going to go up one. So it's going to be either 120 or it's going to be 130. You're right. It's going to go up. So it's 130. Find the sum. Sum is the answer to an addition problem. So five plus six is 11. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 
5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay? And don't forget to add the guys at top. Julie made $22, $55, $38, and $25 baby six. How much did she make baby six? So how much did she make? She made this, she made this, she made this, and she made this. She made all four. So we're going to have to put all four of those um, amounts together. So we have 22, 55, was that 38? Ooh, yeah, 38, sorry, 38 and 25. Oh, I love it. I love it. I see so many tens. I see so many tens. I'll put my best. I'm going to add them together. Well, here's a 10. And here's a 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Then we have 5. Um, 3 is 8 plus 2 more. That's 10. Plus uh, 4 more is 40. So $140. Okay? All right. I hope this helps.